Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Justin Dickmeyer from EngineerAndTrainingExam.com, and in this video, we're going to review parabolas. Let's recall that the general form of a quadratic equation f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. When we throw this equation up onto a graph, the output we get is called a parabola. Now these are two separate these would be two separate equations. The, this uh, quadratic equation will give us one of these two. So there's a couple uh, couple pieces of information that we should define right off the bat um, of a parabola. First of all, a parabola has what we call a line of symmetry. And uh, what this means is the graph on either side of this axis of symmetry is a mirror image of the other side. So there's a, it's an exact, exact replica. We can basically just cut it off right here, flip it over, and determine what all the points on the opposite side would be. So that is called the line or axis of symmetry. Now when you go and when you go and graph a parabola, you won't see this line. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a point on the graph. It's just the location, or it's a, it's a invisible line that just it, it, it basically cuts our parabola in half. Now the second thing we need to define is either the top, the peak of the parabola, top or bot, very bottom of the parabola is called the vertex. So there's two forms, two forms of equations that will give us a parabola, and uh, one of the forms is easier to graph than the other, uh, easier to uh, extract information from than the other. Um, however, the second form that we will be going over isn't. It's more common. Uh, there is a little bit more work to be done if we're asked to find certain information like the vertex, and uh, and uh, and say the uh, uh, other pieces of information but uh, not much more work to be done but let's first go over the the first form and that form I want to go over is f of x is equal to a x minus h squared plus k now this if we plug in whatever information we want to plug in here will give us a uh, graph of a parabola and like I said, this is very simple in determining a couple key, key characteristics of the parabola. Number one, depending on the sign of A here, will tell us whether or not the parabola opens upward or if it opens downward. Now, if A is negative, then it's going to open downward. If it's positive, then it's going to open upward. The second piece of information that we can quickly uh, extract from this equation is h and k. Now the point h, k will be the vertex of our parabola. So that's why just really quickly looking at this form why it would be easier because usually we're typically asked to graph, um, graph parabolas or at least define the equation to a parabola based off a given graph and uh, with this form we can qu quickly either graph it or we can quickly define it. So let's look at a quick equa uh, example of um, how we can quickly define the characteristics of a parabola. Let's say that we're given the equation gx is equal to negative x minus 2 squared minus 1. So Rick, real quick, quickly we see that a is equal to negative 1 and since it's negative we know the orientation of this uh, of this parabola is it's going to be opening downward next uh, we could possibly ask where the vertex is and real quickly once again all we need to do is define what h and k is and luckily this equation is put in the form that we like and real quickly we can see that h k or the vertex is going to be located at uh, 2 negative 1. And next, uh, say we're asked to find the x and y intercepts. Well, just by looking at where the vertex is and knowing that the orientation is downward, we can quickly just visual, I mean, probably without graphing it, we can see that um, the vertex is going to be at 2, 
negative 1, and it's going to be opening downward. So this is telling us that there's not going to be any x-intercepts, but there will be a y-intercept. So to, term, to determine that, we need to plug into the equation x is equal to 0 and just solve where that is going, where the y-intercept is going to be. So that's fairly easy. Just plug in uh, 0 wherever you see x, and we got 0 minus 2 squared minus 1. Uh, which is equal to minus negative 2 squared minus 1, which is equal to minus 4 minus 1 minus 5. So now by looking at that, we know that the y-intercept is going to be located at 0, negative 5. And there's not going to be an x-intercept. So like I said, it was fairly simple when we're given an equation in this form. We can quickly find the orientation. We can quickly find the vertex. And also, we can quickly define where the intercepts are going to be. So, now let's take a look at the uh, not so friendly form, not necessarily harder. Just uh, just slightly a little bit more work to be done to determine the characteristics of the parabola. So that uh, is also called the general form, the form that we're, we're more or used to seeing is the quadratic equation. f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Now in this form, the sign a is, it, it means the same thing. If a is positive, uh, the parabola is going to open upwards. If it's negative, it's going to be opening downwards. So that that's still the same. But unlike the previous uh, form, we're not quickly given the vertex. But there's a set um, there's a set group of equations that will quickly give us h and k. So if we want to find h and k, all we need to do is uh, de de uh, define a and b and plug them into this equation. So h is going to equal negative b divided by 2a and then to get k all we do is plug the value of this b divided by 2a, negative b divided by 2a into the function and that will give us our k. So to get the vertex all we need to do is compute the x coordinate from a and b and then plug that into the function to get the y-coordinate. Now the y-intercept is easy. All we need to do is plug in 0 to this equation, and the, uh, which would, we could really quickly show you. Uh, it's going to basically be equal to c. So the y-intercept is going to be 0, c. So let's take a look at the not-so-friendly form, an example of the not-so-friendly form, if you will, of a, a parabola of an equation where we're asked to also find the same information as we were asked before. We want to find the orientation. We want to also find the vertex and also the intercepts of the equation. So let's say that we're given the equation f of x is equal to negative x squared plus 8x. So right off the bat, we're bummed because it's not in the form that we want to see. Um, however, we know now after defining this second form or the quadratic equation that just with a little bit more work, we can find that same information. So right off the bat, let's define a, b, and c. So a in this case is going to be negative 1, b is going to be 8, and c is going to be 0. So like I defined right prior to this, we know that the, uh, the y-intercept is going to be 0, c. c is 0 in this case, so we already know that the y-intercept is at 0, 0. So we knock that out of the way. Next, we can look at a. We can look at the sine of a and determine if it's going to be a parabola open upward or open downward. In this case, it's a negative 1, and we know that the orientation of the parabola means it's going to be downward, opening downward. 
So the next uh, step is to, t is to figure out where the vertex is. Like I mentioned before, to find HK, all we need to do is define what A and B is, um, define what the X uh, coordinate is, and, and plug that X coordinate into the function to, to determine the Y coordinate. So once again, I can restate that as negative B over 2A is going to be H, and then we want to plug that value into the function to determine the k. So let's quickly do this. The x coordinate, or h, is going to be equal to 8, negative 8, over 2, times negative 1, which is equal to 4. Now we want to plug 4 into the function. And we find that that's negative 4 squared plus 8 times 4. And we find that k is now going to be equal to 16. So that tells us that the vertex now, the vertex is at 4, 16. So let's just quickly graph this just roughly and look at, uh, look at just see if we're going to have any x uh, intercepts. We know we have a y-intercept and that's at 0, 0. Um, and we also know that the vertex is at 4, 16. So let's just say 4 is right here and let's just say 16 is way up here and that we have our vertex right there. It's going to open downward and we know our y-intercept is at 0. So it's going to be something like that and also something like that. And since it's open downward, and the vertex is above the x-axis, we know we're going to have two, um, two x-intercepts. So let's go ahead and find those. All we need to do is set uh, the function equal to 0. So we got 0 is equal to negative x squared plus 8. Factor that, and we got x minus x plus 8. And to make this statement true, we find that x needs to equal 0 or x needs to equal 8. So that's telling us that our x-intercepts our x-intercepts are going to be at 0, 0 and 8, 0.